Uh, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we're going to be working on a 1997 Ford Ranger. Uh, we do got a brake line we're going to be replacing, uh, but also we're doing a muffler and tailpipe job as well. Today we're going to show you how to replace a brake line. In this case it's a 97 Ford Ranger. The leak is here. I'm hoping it's the line that's the problem, so I'm going to replace it. Uh, it's not leaking up here at all, but I'm going to have to disconnect it from here all the way down to here and put a new line in. So I actually knew I was going to be replacing this, so I sprayed this a few weeks ago to try to help loosen up the connection. So hopefully it comes out without too much trouble. Now on this particular line here, it's, that block is part of the new line because you got that line the top and then there's a line that goes in. I can't really show you very well, maybe. There's a line that goes in the back of it as well. I'll show you on the new one here. So that's the end that attaches down here. Can't really see it's dark but this is the end i'm showing up top here so it's sitting like this you can't see that nub because it goes to that uh, metal bracket there that's holding it your spring and everything else and then on the other side there's another line that goes in right through there so we got to take that block off but first we got to take that top line off and the line that's in behind hooked to the other side of this okay so this is the back side of that block i was showing you about you can see we got the top line off right there we went to the top of that block and now working on the back the line that comes out the back of it very tight quarters i'll back up as you can see we're going down to the top of the hood here uh, engine compartment along the side of the engine and the driver's side wheel well uh, but yeah it's, it's definitely tight getting down in there but we're lucky it seems like it broke loose in the line so we're not going to break the line off it looks like the line's in fairly good shape so once we get that off, we can move that block from that bracket and start putting a new one in. Yeah, we got this top one off and can't really see, I guess you can see it a little bit, but we got that back one off now. Uh, so now the block is just being held by that clip that's in there. So we gotta get that clip out and then we can take this block off and put the new one on. Okay, so you can see the line there to the left, and then there's the clip, and she traces his fingers on it. Once that line's pulled back, that clip should go ahead and pull right out somewhat. Up. Yeah, it should. Okay. And then you can see the block will then come loose as well. There's the clip. Hold on. There's the clip right there. Okay, good. You move that. And then will the block wiggle out of that? And you can see the block is wiggling out yeah. of that spot kind of dark but there it is we'll go down and show you what we're looking at the side of right here there's two lines one there the one sitting in behind there you can see it and then there's the block right here so we're just going to remove it from this other side now which is where the leak was and then we'll put start putting a new line in all right because i sprayed this thing ahead of time quite a bit this broke loose no problem at all so we're going to go ahead and remove this and that will take care of the old line. There's an awful lot of corrosion here. I think it's just this piece here, so I'm hoping the new line will fix this problem. We'll go ahead and get this off here. So it's gonna lose a whole pile of brake fluid. Oh, here's your old line right here. So I just took this off as you saw, and I was looking, and I noticed there's no gasket on the front side of it here. Well, that's because whoever installed this last time put both of these gaskets on one side. And that's the problem. <laughs> so the new one comes with two of these little uh, copper or brass rings. And uh, one goes on each side. And that's what creates your seal. So hopefully that was the problem. We'll get that all cleaned up over there. And then start putting new line in. Okay, I want you to take note too, the bolt that holds all this in does not come with the new line. However, the new line does come with two new uh, seals, gaskets here. So you got those, but you got to reuse your old bolt. So you want to make sure that's good and clean too. So we're going to clean that off real quick and then we'll start putting this back in. Okay, so just so you know how to do this, because the last person didn't do it correctly. Uh, you got your bolt, you're going to put one of your seals on like that. Then you're gonna go through your block like so. Make sure you go to the right end. Obviously, you don't want to go to one end anyways. Then your other seal goes on the other side. 
and then it goes back into the all right tracy fell but she's laughing not crying so that's good uh so yeah i'll have to edit some of this <laughs> trying to be quiet i'm freaking okay so like i said you got a gasket on both sides of this not on one side i'm going to go ahead and put this back up on here Again, keeping everything clean. I cleaned everything all up. 9 16 wrench on this here. Tighten that right up good. Okay. The only thing I'm going to spray is this bleeder here now. I hope that'll come loose. Because we're going to have to bleed this thing. If I can't get that loose, huh, if I can't get that loose, I may have to break this loose to get a lot of the air out of it. But let's really hope that that comes loose. All right, so now we're going to start putting this other end back together. Uh, which goes back up into here where we were working uh, a little bit ago. I'm going to clean up that area a little bit to make sure we get no um, particles and stuff in the lines or anything. So let me do that real quick and then we'll start putting this back together. Okay. So I cleaned things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and push this through there. But before I go and put the clip, I'm going to go ahead and put this line right in right away so it can help prevent anything from getting into uh, the top of this block. We'll slide that through the hole and then get this line right in there started right away just so we can prevent stuff from getting inside that clip back on there might be able to do it from down here i don't know yep i think it's gonna go there we go okay probably hard to see what i just did but you saw that clip from before so that locks this block in place now I can go up there and start. You can see that other line sticking out right above my finger there. I'm going to line that back up with the hole on the back side and start tightening that back up. Line's all back in, so that's how you replace the front brake line on, in this case, a Ford Ranger. This is very similar to about any vehicle, uh, really, even newer ones. It's a 97, but uh, the, the big difference is, is how is it connected here, how many lines go into this block, or is it just a threaded uh, line on this side of a block that's hooked to the other lines? That's really the only difference. Other than that, it's pretty close to the same, and they all go into something similar to this. Um, so, you know, this should help you with about any vehicle you might be doing. So our next challenge really is this uh, bleeder going to come loose for us, because now we've got to bleed uh, the brakes. Uh, this is very typical. This is, you know, it's old, so it's, it's rusted, and basically it's stripped by, um, and hopes to not have to go get more parts i'm just going to try and break it loose with a pair of vice grips here but hopefully this works luckily in this case it's in a good area that i can actually get a hold of it with vice grips sometimes these are in areas you can't even get to them and it's not going to come loose for us so sometimes this is what you run into I'm probably gonna have to buy a whole new caliber because of it but these things rust out and that's what you gotta deal with so i'm gonna mess with it here a couple more times and then we'll make a decision what we're gonna do Okay, I got lucky. I literally just turned the camera off, tried one more time, and I got it to break loose. Uh, so we're going to be able to bleed this without having to buy a whole bunch of parts. I'm going to reposition this so it's in an area that I can just leave it clamped, relieve the lines, loosen it, tighten it up, uh, and then when I'm done, I'll leave it tight and pop the clamp back off. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm just going to tell you uh, what we're going to do to bleed this, and then we're going to close this video out. So basically, uh, I'm going to fill the brake reservoir reservoir with brake yeah can't even talk with brake fluid and then I'll have Tracy here will probably pump the brakes for me and once the pressure is built up we have a little bit of pedal I'll go ahead and crack this loose while she holds pressure on the brake uh, pedal that'll uh, push out air I'll tighten this up before before she releases the brake pedal and then she'll start pumping it again and we'll keep an eye on the reservoir uh, keeping adding fluid to it and then uh, we'll keep repeating that process until we get a clear stream of fluid out of this. So basically it's a lot of pumping of the brakes, release, close, add fluid, pump the brakes more. Once this flows clear fluid, we're done and we get the air out of this line. Now we'll probably have to do that to a couple of the other uh, lines as well just because uh, we've allowed air back into the system. Okay, so Tracy's pumped the brakes up. I'm gonna let, she's holding uh, firm pressure on the pedal. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this loose and you're probably gonna hear it pop and spit a little bit. Okay, and then you see I immediately close it because uh, we don't want her foot to go all the way to the floor and then allow air to go back in. So 
So you're gonna go ahead and pump it up again. Again, we're gonna re repeat this process. All while keep an eye on all the uh, brake fluid container to make sure we don't run low on fluid and let air back in the system that way. All right, so uh, we did that a couple more. What? Ow. We did that a couple more times. Uh, we got a clear blade. Uh, why can't I speak? We have clear brake fluid coming out of here. Now I'm just gonna take a rag, wipe things down and make sure we fix that leak problem, which was right here around this thing. Originally, that's what we did this all for, was this one spot that was leaking. Uh, go ahead and put pressure on it, Trace. You had a good amount of pressure? All right, so last time, um, with a good amount of pressure, we had oozing around this thing, and we're not seeing that now. So I think we fixed that problem. And then we'll go ahead and double check these connections up here. Make sure we're not seeing nothing there. Dripping, looking good. And I'll probably have to get the camera in behind there. Maybe you can do that without me. Let's see if there's any leaking there. Appears to be good. So all that's back there. You can see on the back side, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, all that is back together now. And everything looks pretty good. Let me get my camera back out of there. Leak wise. So this project looks finished. And we're gonna go back to uh, the muffler. We gotta run down and get some more parts. All right, well, hey, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Again, this is a 97 Ford Ranger front brake hose replace uh, to the caliper. And uh, we got that taken care of. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, and watch our videos to the end, share, comment, that helps us out. If you want to take it a step further, down in the description, there is a couple more links you can use if you want to support us even more. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.